Hey guys, it's Lauren here. So I'm doing the second part of my Q&A video. I will link the first part of it in case you missed it. And I'm just going to continue on right where I left off. So I'm wondering if you feel like you started losing weight once you really dove into this lifestyle or what triggered it. I realize everyone is different. I'm just wondering if there is anything you people you've been around doing the same notice really triggered the change. Um, probably a few things, and I do have a weight loss tips video that I'm gonna recommend you watch, um, because I really have all my best suggestions in that video, but, I mean, I do talk about how I, I got a bike, and within a, two months, I think, within two months of getting the bike, three months maybe, is when I really started noticing, or other people started noticing, like I said, I didn't have a scale, so other people started commenting on my weight loss, um, but it was like I'd been exercising before the I had the bike and then it was three months of having a bike before I noticed any weight loss. So it's not like I started exercising and immediately dropped the weight. It wasn't like that at all. I think it was more about just a more well-rounded approach. Um, but I also just became, I think the biggest trigger for me, and I've talked about this before, was that I finally figured out how to do this lifestyle in a way that just felt so easy to me so that I've said it I know I've talked about this before but it was like a raw till noon approach and it was just like I enjoyed it so much I would wake up I still do this every day I would wake up have my smoothie um I would like drink a little bit before getting on my bike to go to work I'd drink the rest of it when I got to work and I'm like I love smoothies but if you don't like smoothies then have something else um usually I'd have like a morning snack have like oatmeal or something like that or some dates and then come lunch I'd have leftovers from the night before and that would usually carry me through till dinner I would snack in between lunch and dinner if I needed to like some rice crackers or ice cream like nice cream or something like that and then I'd make whatever it was for dinner and I just enjoyed this so much it just seemed like so easy to me like I would never have wanted to give it up and I still have it to this day I still follow that same routine so I guess for me it was like I just all of a sudden I was trying all these different things and then all of a sudden I fell into um, a method of doing this lifestyle that just really worked for me and I really enjoyed it and it just after that I just felt like I was laughing like it was just like I'm gonna do this forever no matter what like I hadn't experienced any weight any weight loss at that point so um, yeah um, but one other thing I would say is to let go of this obsession with trying to lose weight and I know I I do really understand it but it's just not healthy it's not um, you know you're if if your whole thing on this lifestyle is about how much weight you want to lose or when you're gonna lose weight, the weight or how to lose the weight then this is a diet to you it's not a lifestyle and that's you know you're really missing the point I'm not saying this again I'm not saying this to um, the person that said this I'm just saying in general I see that a lot people trying to make this into a diet and it's not a diet so all right I hope that was helpful um, do you think do you think eating too much tofu or processed soy products can have bad side effects for a male no I don't <laughs> um, with the uh, research that I've done uh, no I don't I think that soy has kind of this bad rap um, I think that soy protein isolate, there's a little more of a story there and it doesn't, from what I've read, it doesn't seem like it's something that's conducive to good health, especially if you're having it every day. But tofu, I mean, I don't think it's any more processed than like flour or sugar. Um, I know people talk about the estrogen, but there is some discussion on that it's not the type of estrogen that we can absorb and all this sorts of things. So I would, again, just do your research and make your own decisions. I wouldn't make it a part of your everyday diet, but a couple times a week, I really wouldn't worry about it. Um, especially if it's sort of like a condiment, you know, if you're adding it to a stir fry or something, don't make like a huge soy dish um, because it's not really high carb, it's quite high protein. And yeah, but you know, in moderation, I, I actually think it can really complement a vegan diet and I really enjoy it. So yeah, that is all my questions for you guys today. Um, comment down below if you have any other questions and maybe I'll do another Q and a soon because I know I didn't talk about this one on Facebook, uh, not Facebook on YouTube. So that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.